Hello everyone, Merry Christmas and welcome back to my channel. Make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. So in today's video, I am going to be showing you all how I do B-Love's Life's Nails. So I am going to be doing a winter set on her. So guys, as you all see, I'm using my extra coarse bit to foul off these stones because these stones are on there very, very well. So I have to foul them down in order to get them off. So guys, I just foul it down really well and I just use my clippers to peel some of it off and then I go ahead and foul away some more. The extra coarse bit works really, really well when you're taking stones off. So I advise you to use that when you're trying to foul stones down. How's everyone feeling today, this morning? It's Christmas, I hope everyone got everything that they wanted and everything that they need. So guys, I was supposed to post this video for Christmas Eve. As you all know, I am recording this voiceover on Christmas Eve. I am going to be announcing my winners for the Christmas Eve giveaway. So now I'm so now I'm gonna take my sander bit and I'm going to foul the back field just to dehydrate her nails as you should. <laughs> so guys, um, I am going to be doing this video a little bit different. I'm doing a voiceover for the most part, and then later on in the video, you're going to hear me talk on the video. This is just so I'm gonna practice doing more of that. So I won't have to keep doing voiceovers because it's a lot harder doing voiceovers than to be talking, explaining what you're doing on the actual video. So after I use my ball, my cuticle ball, I spray her nails with alcohol. This works just as good as the hydrator. Then I take my Young Nails Protein Bond and I use that for my primer. And guys, I'm using a size 18 brush. I moved up, yes, an 18. I like my 18 brush because I can pick up a lot more acrylic, especially when you're doing a full set. It helps you move a lot more faster. But take your time on the acrylic brush sizes. Um, as I started very, very small with like a size 10, you wanna just learn how to work with different size brushes. Dun, dun, dun. So it's time to announce the winners for the Christmas Eve giveaway. So my first winner for the first prize winner, it goes to <laughs> y'all don't buy me. It goes to Mom of Twins. Yay! Mom of Twins, you are my first prize winner. Then my second prize winner goes to Patricia Anderson. Yay, go Patricia. I believe you won um, one of my giveaways before. And my third place winner doo -doo, goes to Rhonda Teal. Yay. 
So guys, make sure you inbox me, DM me on Instagram for your prize. And make sure you let me know if you were the first, second, or third place winner. And I, if you have Cash App, I will send you a Cash App. And if not, we can work out another way that I can send you your cash prize. So make sure, as I said, you steal me on Instagram.
y'all, right now I'm using this CND gel top coat to put over her gel. Well, I use polish as you all seen. I have some voiceover and then the rest of the video I'm going to be talking because I'm going to try something new. So y'all are going to hear me talk through the rest of the video. And you want to make sure you get the sides and the tip of the nail because that's where a lot of wear and tear happens. And the nail polish will chip if you do not get that. Now that I cured that for 60 seconds, I'm going to take one of my cotton swabs or these little uh, cotton rounds and I'm going to spray it with some alcohol. And just wipe it because it get the tacky layer off and um, y'all this set I'm kind of inspired well I inspired these off of um, what was that video called I don't even remember what I named it I don't know uh, how I do be loves life's uh, nails I believe that's what it was called mm -hmm. but it was a purple set I'm gonna show you all on the video that it was a purple set and it had like little stones and stuff on it. I did a sweater nail and it was matted. And they were very cute. They got a lot of views so I'm kind of like replicating that. <clears throat> All right. So on this hand I am going to put her sweater nail on this one. So first I'm going to mat all her nails because she want matte blue. So I want to make sure all the cotton is off. These blue nails are so cute. Mm -hmm, I'm going to be using this. Oh, shoot, ain't focusing. Young Nails Matte Gel Top Coat. Once that go out, you can take your hand out of that one. So I just basically do the same thing. Make sure I get this on every part of the nail including the sides the corners the tip because you don't want to leave no spots especially with the mat because you want to make sure the whole nail is matte mm -hmm. so yeah as y'all see this nail kind of like creased up a little bit that's because it wasn't dried away but it's no worries because this nail is going to get the stones on it so i'm not really worried about that And you want to make sure you do not go up on the cuticle. Just stay a little bit, like probably a centimeter away from the cuticle. Okay, so now I am going to be using the transfer foil. And I am going to do it on this nail because for some reason this one did the same thing. So I guess it wasn't all the way dry. So what I'm going to do is go across and then, okay so now that that is cured I'm going to use this nail foil it's pretty got like little stars and stuff in it and I'm just going to place it where the transfer foil, I mean the transfer gel is at. And I'm just going to rub down. So that's to cover it up? Yep, to cover up that spot that has the gel. And you just pull it off like that. And all the areas that you didn't get, you want to you wanna just go over it like that. Just to cover up those spots that you weren't able to get. And this hand, I am going to go in with my Kiera Sky No White Gel. Put it right here. And I'm just gonna go over the foil with that. Because I don't want to cover my mat up. 
All right, so now I have my, these are called Pure Color Gels. I get these from off of AliExpress. And I'm going to use this to cover up these harsh lines on this nail. So what I'm gonna do is just make, you wanna make sure that this line is perfect. Well, not perfect, but you know, cause nothing is perfect. But you wanna make sure it's straight. And I'm using my longer brush. I don't know if y'all can y'all see that. Okay, there we go, focus. My longer brush for this because it gives you a crispy line. I need to get some more of this though. I'm almost out. It's a checklist. I know, right? <laughs> So I'm going to make this line a little bit thicker because I'm going to do ice drips mm -hmm. on this one. So I'm just going to make this line a little bit thicker. And I really like using these um, gel paints because it's a lot easier to work with mm -hmm. than acrylic paints. but. Acrylic paints work just as good. That's what I use to do my Dolph, um, young Dolph nails. Because mm -hmm. I didn't have the colors I needed in these gel paints, but I really like these gel paints. See? And I'm just gonna kinda go in some more with this one. So I'm gonna go in and do my eyes. So when you do ice, you just kind of want to make it just thin, just like that. Because you want it to look like it's icicles. And you kind of do these as if you were doing drips. But it's just a line. You want to make the base of it a little thicker and then just draw a line down. That's it. That's all. And this is just turning out so cute. Look at that, y'all. Hold on, let me make it focus. Okay, can y'all see? That is just so cute. And I'm just gonna repeat the same thing on the other hand. Now, I am going to be doing some snowflakes on this nail. So I do my lines. You always wanna start that way. And it's kind of like you're doing a star, a sparkling star. So you want to do your X, and then you take your the small end of your brush and just make little V's. Just to have some detail to your snowflake. And you just do it the opposite way, make a upside down V on the bottom. And you wanna make sure you do not press too hard cause you don't wanna have a thick snowflake. So I'm just repeating the same thing on each line. And there's different ways to do snowflakes, but this is like the more easier way to me I mean, but it's different for everybody. Some people like to put, I'm gonna show you a different one in a second. But that's how I do that. And then with this, I do the same, but make them smaller. So like I said, you don't wanna push down too hard with the brush, cause you don't want thick lines, you want thin lines.
and it's okay if you mess up a little bit the snowflakes aren't perfect so that's how I do mine and then I take a small daughter tool and just grab a little bit of the color the white and I just dot on every end of the snowflake making sure that the bigger dots are on the longer lines and the smaller dots are on the small lines and that's how you do it just like that can y'all see that and then I'm just gonna go in and make a smaller snowflake. And this time, you wanna make sure you have a smaller line and then make the X smaller than the horizontal and vertical line if you wanna do a smaller snowflake. And so with this one, since it's smaller, instead of me putting the v's i'm just gonna go in and make dots so can y'all see that it keep on it's not focusing okay you just put a dot here a dot there dot 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 and that's it See, a simple snowflake. Okay, I'm back. So, on this nail, I am going to be doing some more ice. So, this time, oh, I'm going to do the same thing. Well, you all didn't see what I did on the other hand, so I'm just going to explain what I'm doing. You count up when you're doing icicles you kind of want to just swirl your brush back and forth a little bit to get those realistic icicle lines so this one I made longer going down the middle And then I'm gonna make a small one right here. I did the same thing on the pinky. Hold on, let it focus. Okay, there we go. And then on the thumb, I did the snowflakes. Okay, let me see this now. All right, so now I am going to be doing her stone. So I have a lot of pretty stones, y'all. I'm not really doing the whole nail of stones, but I am going to be doing enough of the nail. So I'm going to be using my AB stones, of course. My go-to stones. And plus I wanted to match this right here. 
So what I am going to do is use some of these. Also, these balls. And I'm going to put that on her nails along with these stones. So I am going to go over this nail though with some white because I see some areas that I would like to cover up. I like to use super glue as I was saying. It doesn't matter what kind of super glue, just as long as it's super glue. Some people don't like using super glue, but that's my go-to. And every time she's here and she come back, every stone is on. Maybe not everyone, but you won't be able to tell which ones fell off. 98% mistake. Right. <laughs> So I'm just gonna like, I don't really have a certain pattern on where I want these stones to go. I just put them on. So I'm just gonna start up here in this area. And just place a few stones here and there. Like I said, I don't have a specific spot where I want to add stones. I just put them on. This, I'm gonna keep close back because this is where all the small ones are. And I don't wanna drop it. Yep, there. So I'm just adding different stuff on here. As I go, it don't matter where it go. Going with the flow. Uh, to be honest, I don't, I don't, I can't explain how to play stones. Like, you just gotta practice and watch other people, and then you'll see how to space them out, where to place them, and then it'll just be like second nature to you after that. Because I was horrible at placing stones at a point in time. But then after a while, I would practice, I would watch other people, and then it just was like, oh, okay, it's not that hard. And it's really not, so. But I'm not gonna do too much talking on this part. You'll just see me placing my stones. These wax pins with this point on here and the wax at the end, they are your best friend when it comes to placing stones. You wanna have plenty of these on deck cause this wax pen wears out after a while. This used to be pointy, now it's like, I don't know, round, dull. Cause if you don't have one of these, you would move so, so, so slow trying to put all your stones on. It already goes slow enough for me using this, but 
it'll be just 10 times slower. <laughs> I done got them stuck to my skin. some type of design in your head like even if you swirl it or something like just have some type of design you don't want to just place them anywhere yeah because everybody can place stones <laughs> i've seen some stuff like oh my goodness it look easier right done. right what miss b love said <laughs> And some people like to use gel when they play stones. Mm -hmm. I have also done that, but I have learned that gel did not work as good for me um, when I play stones. So I stuck to the glue. Um, maybe I wasn't using the gel right, I don't know, but I, you just gotta find out what works for you, to mm -hmm. be honest. Like, I just found out, to be honest, um, I have some new primer that I just started using by Young Nails. I showed you at the beginning of the video that works for certain clients and that don't work for certain clients. Like, mm -hmm. with Miss Beloved, it works for her because she came with barely no lifting. She only mm -hmm. had one nail one that nail. was lifting. Mm -hmm. So, you just got to figure out what products work for certain clients. It's going to be hard and cost money, but... It's worth it. You will get that right back. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kissed. By the way, just got in town. And I won't let come in this cloud. It's all in the sky. Blue in my body. Usually, I don't.
But yeah, I gotta check. You got a day and we gotta go put that money on my car. Give me money, brother. So when you do the sweater nail, you, you just wanna do the line with a clear gel. Did she say you could do it? Yeah, she said I need your account number. Okay, I'm gonna give you a call. Be sure to see how. Cause please do this. Please do this, cause I if this money don't go on here. know what this is gonna be harder so I'm just gonna pour some well, in this have a lid. Yeah. yeah cuz me trying to scoop it with that little bitty thing it's not gonna work so you just pour 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 all over and then this is where the magic happens all right and then you put it in the light and then once it comes out the light you'll see the sweater now let me go ahead oh so, y'all these snowflakes i got these actually off of aliexpress you could get them on amazon too so now let me move this because i don't want no dust skinning in there now you just take your brush and you just dust it And then, voila, there goes the sweater now. Very pretty. So, on this one, I'm just going to put some white sparkles. But first, I have to go over it with this gel. So, you always want to put the gel on first. Yes, I don't like I couldn't be rude. And I just take my brush and just go over these lines. Thank you. 